Do you have friends? Well, I hope so. But how about enemies? Do you have any enemies? Well, I hope not, but people can make us angry sometimes, can't they? Sometimes we get upset at other people. And it makes it feel like they're our enemies. Maybe somebody says something unkind to you, or maybe they do something mean. How does that make you feel when people act that way? Not good, right? It can make us very angry. It can make us really upset at them. And it can make us feel like that person is our enemy. And when that happens, what's the right thing for us to do? Well, what do you usually feel like doing? You probably feel like getting back at them, right? If somebody hits us, we want to hit them back, right? If somebody takes something from us, we want to take something from them. If someone calls us a name, we want to call them a name too. When someone does something unkind to us, we want to get them back. Is that the right way to act when someone has been unkind? What do you think? Well, the Bible tells us a story in 1 Samuel chapter 24 about David. Do you remember what happened to David before he became the king? Well, the king of Israel before David was named Saul. Do you think Saul was a good king? Well, he started out right, but then he decided he wanted to do things his way instead of following the Lord. Saul chose not to follow God and obey him, and so God said Saul was not going to be the king of Israel anymore, and he chose David to be the new king. Well, when God chose David, that made Saul angry. Saul wanted to keep being king, so he decided he was going to get rid of David. He was going to kill him. Had David done anything wrong? No. But he still had to run away to keep King Saul from killing him. Can you imagine that? David had to run away and hide, and he kept going from place to place, running from Saul and his soldiers, trying to keep them from finding him. Can you imagine living like that? Well, 1 Samuel 24 tells us that one day Saul was chasing after David. And Saul came to a cave, and he decided he'd been chasing David a lot, and he needed to have a little bit of rest. He wanted to take a nap. And so he went into that cave, and he lay down to rest. Well, what Saul didn't know was that David was actually in that same cave. He was a little bit deeper into the cave where Saul couldn't see him. Do you know what the men with David wanted David to do? They told David he should kill Saul. Saul was trying to get David, even though David hadn't done anything wrong. So they thought that David should get back at Saul. They thought that if Saul was trying to kill David, that David should go ahead and kill Saul. Do you think David did that? No, he didn't. Here's what David said. The Lord forbid that I should do this thing unto my master, the Lord's anointed, to stretch forth mine hand against him, seeing he is the anointed of the Lord. David knew that he didn't deserve for Saul to be mean to him, to be unkind to him, and to try to get him. David knew that, but he also knew that it was wrong for him to try to get back at Saul. Sometimes when people are mean to us, we want to get back at them, but that's wrong. David trusted God to work out that situation, and we need to do the same thing. When we feel like getting back at somebody, that's not the right thing to do. There's another thing we feel like doing when somebody's unkind to us. If someone is mean to you, what do you want to do? Maybe when you go and see your friends again. You want to tell them all about it, don't you? You want to tell your friends how mean that person was to you. You want to talk bad about that person because they were so mean and so unkind. Is that the right thing to do when somebody's been unkind to us? What do you think? No, of course not. We know that's not the right way to act. Even if someone is acting like our enemy, we shouldn't try to get back at them or talk bad about them. So what should we do? Well, let's see what Jesus had to say. Jesus said in Matthew 5, 43, Ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. That's the way that a lot of people think. They think, I should love my friends, I should love my neighbors, the people that are close to me, but I should hate my enemies. I should be mean to them. I should do nice things to my friends, but I should be mean to my enemies. 
But Jesus kept teaching. Here's what he said. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Jesus said we shouldn't try to get back at our enemies. We shouldn't talk bad about our enemies. What did he say we should do? Well, he said we should love them. We should do good things for them. Tonight, though, I want to focus specifically on one thing that Jesus said. For the last few weeks, we've been looking at what the Bible has to say about prayer. Maybe you noticed one of the things Jesus said we should do for our enemies or the people who are unkind to us. He said we should pray for them. It's good for us to pray for our families, for our friends and our teachers. But Jesus also said we should pray for our enemies. That's not easy to do, but it's very important. Think about Jesus when he was on the cross. Did he do anything to deserve to die? Of course not. Jesus never sinned. He never did anything wrong. But still, Jesus' enemies didn't like the truth that he told them. And they put him on the cross to die. That's terrible, isn't it? Were they acting like Jesus' enemies? Yes, definitely. But what did Jesus do? Do you remember what Jesus prayed when he was on the cross? Luke 23, 34 tells us that Jesus prayed this for the people who put him on the cross. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Wow. Jesus prayed for his enemies. He prayed for the people who put him on the cross. He prayed that God would forgive them, even though they'd done such a terrible thing. The book of Acts tells us about a man named Stephen. Now, Stephen was a good man. He was a Christian. He served God. He did things to help and serve other people. But there were some people who were very mad at Stephen because he was preaching the truth, and he was telling people about Jesus, and they didn't like that. In fact, they were so angry at Stephen, they decided they wanted to kill him. Isn't that terrible? It wasn't because Stephen had done anything wrong. It was only because he was doing and preaching what was right. But the people got so mad at Stephen that they picked up rocks and they started throwing them at him. Even though they were doing such a terrible thing, do you know what Stephen did? He prayed for them. Acts 7 verse 60 says, He kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, lay not this sin to their charge. Stephen prayed that God would forgive the people who were attacking him. Pretty amazing, huh? Now, you probably don't have people attacking you like they did to Stephen, but we can still learn a lesson from him and from the wonderful example of Jesus. What lesson is that? It's that we should pray for other people who are mean and unkind to us. So next time someone does something that makes you angry or they do something that makes you want to get back at them, what are you going to do? I hope you're going to pray. Pray for that person that God will forgive them for what they've done and that he'll help them learn to be kind and to do right. And also pray that God will help you to love and be kind to that person. Who knows? God might just help your enemies become your friends. Let's pray. Father, I thank you that even on the cross, Jesus prayed that you would forgive those who were putting him there, who were crucifying him. Thank you for the example of Stephen who prayed for the people who were attacking him. I pray that you would help us to pray for our enemies. Lord, you know our hearts want to get back at them or talk bad about them. We want to hurt people who hurt us. But I pray instead that you'd help us to love them and to pray for them. Help us to be faithful, to pray for the people who act like our enemies. Help us to pray for the people who make us angry. And we know that you'll change our hearts and that you might change their hearts as well. I pray that you would help us to be the kind of people, not who get back, but who pray for people who attack us, who are unkind to us or mean to us. Lord, help us to be like Jesus. We love you and we pray in Jesus' name, amen. There's a lot to learn about prayer from the Bible, isn't there? And I'm really glad for the lessons we've been able to learn. I hope that you've kept praying every day and that from now on, when someone is unkind to you, instead of getting back at them, you'll pray for them instead.